Duration triggers are similar to pattern triggers, but with a little more refinement. The advantage of either pattern or duration triggers is that it allows you to trigger on the state of multiple channels simultaneously. Here we are looking at digital signals, so we set a state for each channel of interest to either high or low. Channels can also be set to don't care, so the scope will trigger regardless of that signal's state. This is just like a pattern trigger. A duration trigger adds the capability to test for how long that combination of states occurs. In units of time, you can select a lower limit, an upper limit, or activate both to catch only states that last between the two time values. A good application for this trigger would be to debug timing on a parallel bus. The duration trigger makes it easy to find states that are causing embedded communications issues in your system. Here we are looking at states where only the digital channels 4, 5, 6, and 7 are in a high state together for longer than about 15 microseconds. We can use this ability to trigger on different durations of different states for multiple channels to debug complex interactions that include both digital lines from a micro or FPGA and analog signals that interact with surrounding sensors or actuators.